to start a colony of telepathic humans. This is what changed everything. There are some humans that have the ability to have uh, telepathic communication with the aliens. And they learned from that how to actually communicate with earthlings and how and why we do some of the things that we do. And they found out that we're a very, very diverse cultures, many, many cultures, they've discovered that their diversity isn't that bad because they have telepathy, so they all start thinking pretty much the same way when it's all agreed upon. You know what I mean? If you have telepathy and you can know somebody's intent and know somebody's conversation and, and what they believe in everything, things become closer together. They start, you know, the belief systems are closer, the, the social systems are closer. It just makes sense that their belief, everything will be a little bit more the same. When they found out how diverse we were, I mean, every single person, there's not two people that actually think alike. I mean, you may have some similarities in your thought patterns. But when they actually started studying the thought patterns of humans, they're going, oh my. This one thinks this way, this one thinks this way, this is the base for that thought, this is the base for that thought in another person, and they don't jive, but they came up with the same answer. And when they started realizing how diverse we were in our individuality, um, that is when they started understanding humanity because they did not understand how diverse we were. They didn't understand how one person could say the same thing as 14 other people and have 14 different meanings. They are becoming more successful with communication now is because the thought patterns are being understood by those that are in the uh, telepathic colony, which is colony one. And they're, they're learning from the telepaths how to communicate with Earth. If you can understand why now that the human colonies that Max proposed with the telepathic people has actually been the breakthrough for communication with Earth in a greater way than it ever has before. So now they have three colonies um, with diversely different thoughts. The third colony is an important one because that is where they're developing communication with Earth in the sense of videotapes, that kind of communication, YouTube kind of things, that they want to be able to communicate with Earth in the social media without causing excitement and craziness and all that stuff. That is what Colony 3 is doing. They're, they have different individuals. They have filmmakers from the, from the Earth who go there. They won't say who. But they have also aliens that are interested in doing that as well. And they're coming together and they're recording hours and hours and hours a day. But they want to make sure that it's usable material. Yes? The colonies, some are in spaceships, and one is on another uh, planet, era, that's in the Pleiadian system. Uh, the weather is being monitored by aliens because we're going through a very severe time in weather. You may not realize it, but if they would not be helping with the weather, the weather would be three times as bad as it is. They calm it down that much, and even still with that, it's still harsh. Um, are they trying to keep us from annihilating each other? Yes, they're trying to keep... Well, this is the closest that any Earth civilization has been to, to uh, becoming part of the galaxy. And we're entering a period of evolution for our species that will come within the next couple hundred years where a lot of people will become telepathic. I don't know if anybody knows about how telepathy starts. It starts with, you know, the energy chakras in your body. It starts with the center, the heart. So that is why we're at the beginning of that evolution of telepathy. This is the beginning of a new era for the world. It is. Because you all now 
can walk into a room and, and usually tell if somebody's good intentioned or bad intentioned. And you won't even have to look at their face. You don't have to look at their face. And sometimes the face is deceiving. Sometimes the face is deceiving. But that is where I'm saying telepathy is coming to us. And it's going to take a couple hundred, 150, 200 years. But this, on 2012, that date, December 21st, 2012, was the beginning of what they called an ascension. Ascension of uh, our vibration as a human, as a co community of people. You see, it starts as very small, but... As it goes out, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's when it takes the people in. That light will bring it in. So, and a lot of you may have experienced that, where you wouldn't even have to mention something to someone, and they'll already feel your vibration and say, so, how come you're in such a good mood today? Or, how come you're a little different today? Right? If you experience that, that is your vibration going out. When you start giving that away, when you start giving that peace away, then that's enlightenment. Think about that. And though, those who can find joy, I think Buddha said, when you find joy, you are enlightened. And, it, and it's contagious, and it's good, and it's loving. And joy is just part of that, is part of the enlightenment. When you find your joy, your highest excitement in your world. And when you find that and it starts coming out of you, enlightenment. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Because we're all a net, of a vibrational net of light. And when that joy comes out, we knit ourselves together as a community. And then you net yourself together, and that's going to be part of the community of the world is the net of light that goes around it. And, and if you're in a community with a lot of people that are netted together as light, they bring you up if you're down. And you bring them up if they're down. What is the reason for the intercourse? Because we're closer to becoming part of a, a citizen of the galaxy than we've ever been before. And so, but what the uh, uh, Grukfiknerians say, and that's the alliance that they have with the five different species. There's five species in an alliance. What they say is that this timeline will not pass away. What are there people abducted, humans abducted, that they did experiments on? That was a while back. Um, they don't do that anymore at all. They've, uh, they asked permission for... To be for people to have abdu to go with them, and they don't do any kind of experiments like that. What do you think is the relationship of ongoing uh, U.S. or earthly political structures with this intercourse? When they discuss first contact, that's when it's that's when that becomes important because they don't want to be threatening to the uh, to the world. They don't want to be seen as uh, coming to hurt anybody uh, and that's why they're going to use the internet and YouTube and things to prepare people ahead of time and also people like yourselves who understand and know that there are aliens out there that you uh, to help others to calm down you know and it's not weird anymore and their intent from what I feel when they come through me is their intent is to educate who is ever here, how to grow their vibration and be a higher vibrational person. Like Lakesh, he's very popular. And Takur the Liran, she's very, very uh, loving to humans. And Pentim, who is a Yigil. And Sentiri. Sentia. Okay. Uh, you can see our videos on uh, humancolony.org. Hukala. First, first letter, human colony abbreviated to Hugh Kala. It's a unique word which we use now, and on YouTube it's very easy to find us. And another channel, uh, first is Hugh Kala TV, and second is Hugh Kala Chat. It's been a really amazing because our, I think our Yukolo, H-U-C-O-L-O, is the only um, 
web channel that is actually birthing ch channelers and birthing galactic languages. They even have galactic language, Jim. You go in there and speak your language and see if someone can understand what you're saying and sometimes they can and some sometimes it's just practice. Here now we have a whole n group of people speaking galactic languages and uh, starting to channel. They're, they're, they're all over the place down there yep. now. Uh, so, last three months it happened. Uh, initially, Jim spoke several languages. You heard Liran language. Wuha is high. So yeah. remember, Wuha is high. <laughs> Muha or Muha. Muha is goodbye. They, they say uh, that they speak this language for several years and they thought they go crazy and finally they find us. And we can, you know, we, we, some of our people speak the same language and they can converse. And there were amazing webinars on, on record where nine people speak galactic languages together. They converse in those languages and some of them can translate. Jim translates Arcturian with, without being, without channeling. I mean, through ch when he channels, he can speak many languages, but even without channeling, he can, can translate some. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Much love.